Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Fusion 100 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide Bulb. Now this particular bulb was bought at a restore in Denver, Colorado for about, I don't know, probably one or two dollars. So that was really nice and cheap if I'm allowed to say that. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's look at the etch real quick, also known as the information about this 100 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide Bulb, which is obviously a standard. So anyways, Got some light to look at the edge. We can obviously see our company name made by Fusion right here. Under it is the bulb code, which is kind of simple. We have FMH, F standing for Fusion, which is the company name as usual. And this is obviously a standard metal halide because of it. the etch saying MH as usual. We have our 100 slash 100U. 100 is obviously the wattage and the letter U meaning universal burn position of the arc to burning position type but um, I'll also be putting the burning position in the description below of this video as well so you'll see that too and the MED meaning medium base and the letter R means that this bulb will emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation if punctured cracked or you know shattered or broken anything like that this bulb will not self extinguish on its own and right beside it is the warning symbol of mercury as usual because it's obvious that high intensity discharge bulbs contain mercury in you know the arc tube that produces light and right here is the ANSI ballast type which is the M90 and this is an enclosed rated lamp because it has the letter E since there is no shield around the arc tube that's why they did M90 slash E. If there was a shield, it would be M90 slash O, meaning open rated. And I'm not sure what the CLFL15 means, but if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments below. But anyways, now that we're done with the hatch, let's look at the construction real quick to see how this bowl was made. And it's actually a pretty simple construction, as you can see. So you can see some glue on the etch right there to keep the bulbs sturdy and I meant to say the base sorry about that um, we obviously have our stem right here let me get a good focus of it sorry about there we go so we obviously have our stem you can see the little exhaust tube down there we obviously have our wires which connect to the arc tube and we obviously have the dimple as well and this is a elongated dimple 17 bulb we also have a very nice hard aluminum base with a glass insulator. I don't know why they still use glass insulators still to this day. They should use ceramic insulators or like, you know, high resistant temperature plastic insulators. I have seen those plastic, I have seen plastic insulators on other types of lamps, but not high intensities. But anyway, here's the arc tube. It's in the shape of an oval or a football, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, I have used this bulb before I made this video. So I have tested this bulb, it works like a charm, and I do have a fixture for it, and I just made it in a video just recently. Here's the little tip on the arc tube. We obviously have our two coatings of ceramic on the arc tube, basically telling you that this is a universal burn position, or a letter U on the etch as well. We obviously have our getter right here. And pretty much, this is a pretty much simple construction, as you can see. Nothing too special about this bulb other than the silver getter and the arc tube itself and the stem. And so this is just a pretty simple metal halide bulb. But um, anyway, now that we're done with the construction, I'm going to give you some specifications about this metal halide bulb, and then I will turn it on for you viewers. So anyways, this particular metal halide bulb here produces 8,500 lumens which is slightly less bright than the my other 100 watt Pulse Start Metal Halo bulbs that I have made on my channel for the past like, I don't know, six months or so. Um, the other ones produce 9,000 lumens and also there is one equivalent one, a GE 100 watt Pulse Start open rated metal halo bulb that I made over a year ago. So, very long time ago. But um, anyway, the color temperature of this bulb is 4000K or cool white. And this bulb is obviously not dimmable since this is an arc lamp. Some metal halide bulbs are also dimmable, but I don't think this one is in particular. The burning position of this arc tube is universal according to the etch on the bulb as well. 
And um, average lifetime of this bulb is 15,000 hours, and that's pretty much it. So anyways, um, pulsar metal halide bulbs tend to warm up faster because they're much stronger than probe start metal halide bulbs. So anyway, this bulb will take like about, I don't know, one and a half to two minutes to warm up. This bulb is also similar to my Venture 250 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide Natural White Lamp, which is a shielded bulb. And um, of course, it, that bulb tends to warm up uh, around the same time as well when I turn it on. And plus, the bay light that the bulb is in has a loud ballast. And this ballast, however, on this ballast box is very quiet. I have tested this before and I made it in a separate video. So anyways, I think that's that. So we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. And hopefully there will be no issues with the arc tube whatsoever because this is an enclosed rated lamp. And plus, if this arc tube tends to rupture, um, it can send hot fragments of um, hot fused quartz around, you know, wherever I'm in right now. But, um... And it'll also start a fire as well, which would not be good at all. So anyways, before you test high intensity lamps, always have safety safety gear like welding goggles, for example, just so you can see, you know, the arc stream, making sure everything operates correctly. So I'm going to put these on. That's always a safety first. Always put some type of safety source on when you're testing a high intensity lamp of any kind, like mercury vapor, metal halide, or high pressure sodium, or xenon short arc, or carbon arc. Those are really old. The carbon arcs are really, really old. Anyways, I'm going to set the camera right here on the ballast as usual. S not the ballast. I meant to say ballast box because the ballast is actually inside the box. Sorry about that. Anyways, we're going to go ahead. We'll give this bulb a shot and we're going to let it start up. So anyways, let's turn on this 100 watt bulb. Here we go. So here we are at full brightness from this 100 watt metal halide bulb and yep it warmed up very very fast. So yeah this is why I proved to you that pulse start metal halide bulbs or ballasts I should say tend to be more powerful than standard probe start metal halide bulbs. So anyways you can see that this bulb lights up this room quite nicely in very nice cool white. But the color rendering of this bulb is not that great. It's only like 65 or 70. So it really kind of looks like neutral white, but yeah. But anyways, I really hope you enjoy this very nice Fusion 100 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide Bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.